This is a summary of the CPIC dosing guideline for abacavir and variation in the gene HLA-B. This guideline was last updated in May 2014. Due to the risk of abacavir hypersensitivity in patients who carry the HLA-B star 5701 allele, the guideline recommends avoiding the use of abacavir in these patients. Patients who do not carry the HLA-B star 5701 allele can receive abacavir per standard dosing guidelines. Abacavir, in combination with other medications, is used to treat HIV infection. Although it is generally well tolerated, approximately 5 to 8% of patients experience a hypersensitivity reaction during the first six weeks of treatment. Symptoms include fever, rash, gastrointestinal symptoms, fatigue, cough, and dyspnea. If abacavir is discontinued after a hypersensitivity reaction and then restarted, patients can experience immediate and life-threatening reactions, including anaphylaxis and even fatalities. This image is adapted from the PharmGKB abacavir pathway. A link to the original pathway is provided in the description below the video. HLA-B is responsible for distinguishing the body's own proteins from those of foreign invaders, it does this by presenting peptides to the immune system. Most of the peptides that HLA-B presents come from the normal breakdown of cellular proteins and are recognized by the immune system as self-peptides. However, if a cell becomes infected by a pathogen, the peptides presented will be from the pathogen, and the immune system will recognize these as foreign or non-self and stimulate an immune reaction to destroy the cell. The mechanism by which HLA-B star 5701 affects susceptibility to an abacavir hypersensitivity reaction is unclear. Recent evidence suggests that abacavir binds to HLA-B star 5701, changing the peptides that are able to be presented by the protein. The new peptides that are presented are perceived as foreign by the immune system, triggering an immune reaction. The presence of the HLA-B star 5701 allele has a positive predictive value of 50% for immunologically confirmed hypersensitivity, meaning that some HLA-B star 5701 positive patients do safely tolerate abacavir. Genotyping results for HLA-B are reported as either positive for patients with one or two copies of the HLA-B star 5701 allele or negative for patients with no copies of the HLA-B star 5701 allele. These are the CPIC dosing recommendations for abacavir. Patients who are non-carriers of HLA-B star 5701 have a low or reduced risk for abacavir hypersensitivity and can be given abacavir per standard dosing guidelines. The classification of this recommendation is strong. Patients who are carriers of HLA-B star 5701 have a significantly increased risk of abacavir hypersensitivity. Abacavir is not recommended in these patients. The classification of this recommendation is strong. All of these dosing recommendations can be found in Table 2 of the guideline. A link to the guideline is provided in the description below this video. This guideline has been annotated on the PharmGKB website. This includes a drop-down menu where an activity summary can be given for specific combinations of alleles. The activity summary includes implications for the combination of alleles, the appropriate dosing recommendation for the specific diplotype, and the strength of that recommendation. Remember that variation in other genes in addition to demographic and clinical factors including concomitant medications can affect treatment. It remains the responsibility of the clinician to determine the best course of treatment for a patient. CPIC and PharmGKB assume no responsibility for any injury to persons or damage to persons or property arising out of or related to any use of CPIC's guidelines or for any errors or omissions. The guideline itself and supplementary information are freely available at the PharmGKB and CPIC websites. You can access relevant pages using the links in the description below this video.